Growing food to give away. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com with some more ways that we are winning and solutions-oriented stories. We've got that free food story plus a decentralized internet question mark. But first, ah, oh, it's a paradigm shift. After arresting thousands for it, as we, of course, always begin your Good News Next Week episodes with a little Weed World Order news, Canada cops can now use cannabis. The same substance that was once demonized as a dangerous drug is now being accepted in a police department where officials have decided to treat cannabis like alcohol, and they are now allowing their officers to use the plant as long as they are off-duty. As the city of Vancouver, Canada prepares to legalize cannabis for recreational use in the coming weeks, October 17th to be specific, the Vancouver Police Board has announced that its officers will be free to use cannabis as long as they arrive to work fit for duty. The police board effectively rejected the suggestion that officers should have to undergo a 24-hour pre-shift period of abstinence from cannabis before every shift, according to a report from the Toronto Star. So, they acknowledge that cannabis affects different individuals to varying degrees, and there's no medical consensus on how long cannabinoids like THC, the main psychoactive ingredient in cannabis, take to clear the system. I don't have that Toronto Star piece, but I do have Vancouver Sun. Police will be able to toke, comma, must be fit for duty. And of course, everything we say and play always included in our show notes. Another little related story, Cannabis Oil Row, which sounds like a cool alley you would want to walk down, except this is from the UK, so they actually mean Cannabis Oil Row, a fight. Boy has epilepsy medication returned. A UK kid with severe epilepsy has been given back his Canadian medicinal cannabis oil that was confiscated from his mom at UK Customs. Our second story this week on Good News Next Week, episode 70 takes us back to the Pacific Northwest. As they always seem to lead in a lot of ways, Tacoma, Washington man grows organic food to give it away for free. David Thompson lives in a high poverty area of Tacoma, Washington. Grocery stores, he said, don't have a large variety of organic fresh vegetables, but he has more than he needs. He sets out a table in front of his house with a big food is free sign that we've used for the cover art of this Good News Next Week episode. It took a while for people to take what he offered, of course, because people are suspicious of things like that. He remembers his first few offers of lettuce wilting in the sun. Now the table is a staple on his street. I'll set it out here. People drive by and pick it up. You can actually watch this fantastic piece from King 5 up in Seattle. Tacoma Man sets out table in front of house with free organic produce. A fantastic good news story that, again, isn't about an event or a person. It's about an idea and a thing that you can do yourself. And it doesn't tell, well, I was going to say it, <laughs> it doesn't take any permits. But, but you might. It depends on where you live in the old USSA. You, you might need some permits. But the more we do it, the more, as we like to say, the toothpaste is just out of the tube. This goes along with all the community fridges that we talk about, the free little libraries we talk about, the tool libraries we talk about, the clothing libraries we talk about. That's definitely good news. Our third and final story this week got a lot of action. I had uh, several submissions, and you can submit stories for Good News Next Week using hashtag Good News Next Week, as you can use those hashtags for any of the Media Monarchy subjects that we tackle in the kingdom, or of course, you can always reach out to me, James, at MediaMonarchy.com. Father of World Wide Web launches platform which aims to radically decentralize the internet. Tim Berners-Lee, you know him, the father of the World Wide Web, has launched a startup that intends to end the dominance of the Fang Gang while in the process letting into individuals take back control of their own data. Berner Lee's new online platform and company, Inrupt, I-N-R-U-P-T, is being described as a personal online data store, or pod, where everything from messages, music, contacts, or other personal data stored in one place overseen by the user instead of an array of platforms and apps run by corporations seeking to profit off of that personal information. The project seeks personal empowerment through data and aims to take back the web, this according to the company's own statements. The man, Tim Burns, Berners Lee, who created the World Wide Web by implementing one of the first ever, if the first ever, successful communication between hypertext transfer protocol, you know, at HTTP, client and server via the internet in 1989. He has lamented that his creation has been abused by powerful entities for everything from mass surveillance to fake news to psychological manipulation to corporations commodifying individuals' information. 
30 years and counting. At MIT, and our hopes get lowered just a little bit, Tim Berners-Lee has for years led a team designing and building a decentralized web platform called Solid. It's going to underlie the Enrupt platform. The Enrupt venture will serve as users' first access to the new solid decentralized web. As Berners-Lee says, quote, if all goes as planned, Enrupt will be to solid what Netscape was for many first-time users of the web, an easy way in. And like with Netscape, Tim Berners-Lee hopes Enrupt will be just the first of many companies to emerge from solid. Mad Rider 357 on the tweets also shared just the straight up link to solid solid.interrupt.com, internet 2.0, decentralized and in our hands, and he adds the question mark, as it's always good to question mark a lot of these stories. Can't always just be, you know, horrible things all the time, but it can't always just be rainbows and puppies and sunshine, and sometimes these stories might have, as we joke on New Orleans next week, a little bit of not unmitigated good news. That is Good News Next Week, Episode 70. I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com. Not only thanking you for watching and listening, but I'm also inviting you to join the Media Monarchy community. I've got a brand new website. Still needs a little bit of work. Still fixing it up. It's just out of the wrapping just about a week or so ago. But it is a great new way for people to join the Media Monarchy community, and we don't have to do it on any of their other social media platforms. We'll do it on my website, mediamonarchy.com slash join. You can have the same three choices for pledges that you can find over on Patreon. And of course, you can always join us in the Discord community. Of course, Patreon and Discord are great. They've been really awesome tools for us. But I'd maybe trust them about as much as I trust any of the other companies. That's why we want to build our own scene. And I hope you join us at mediamonarchy.com slash join. So I'm James Evan Vlado for mediamonarchy.com. Thanking you for listening. Inviting you to join the Media Monarchy community, and of course, reminding you, as always, like Jello Offer says, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Filato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology, and the occult, all remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.